This is a poem which refers to the difficulty of being a creative artist under a dictatorship. In bed with Shostakovich, I listen over and over to Shostakovich's fourth, that wild, hairy, unkempt teenager of a symphony, the problem child, the one he had to withdraw after the debacle of Lady Macbeth because he knew it was eclectic, and it was formalist, and it would have incurred the wrath, and there would have been a knock at night, the silent car and the gulag, the White Sea Canal, or a bullet in the basement of a Lubyanka, because all of Meyerhold, Kams, Zilyev, Solotinsky, Mayakovsky, Mandelstam, had been or were to be tortured, shot, suicided, or ground into death. And I listen over and over to Shostakovich's fourth, which lay hidden, the wild genius of it, for 25 years, until well after Uncle Joe's death, and what a fucking holiday that should be, the great leader and teacher, the cunt. So I listen to Shostakovich's fourth, the huge, wild, disparate aggregation of it, the young composer assembling chunks like bric-a-brac, jamming it together, some lyrical, tender, vulgar, some jaunty, impish, playful, some terrifying, some utterly, despairingly sad. The whole wild bag of it, a piece I've known for decades and sometimes loved, and sometimes railed against and was frustrated by, and now I think I get it. I think I get it. It coheres, it persuades, and this is the soundtrack of the 20th century, the whole bloody 20th century, which I think of as my century. My century, because I feel increasingly like a guest in the 21st. And I listen and I listen to the whole hour-long, slammed-together, brutalist mass of it, and as it finally winds down, after all the tumult, the shrieking, the bombast, the huge sudden climaxes, the shrill piccolos, the pretty dances, as it finally winds down, there is plaintive woodwind over a pulse of throbbing lower strings, still alive, still joyful, children in a meadow, and suddenly, again, the juggernaut trampling through everything, grinding through everything, obliterating everything, loud, brash, unrelenting. It sweeps through in grimacing triumph and leaves what? The pulse, again, but slower, like a failing heart. And at the end, at the very end, the celesta the beautiful, ethereal Celesta, a rising, fragile figure on the Celesta. And at the very, very end, the very, very end, a lone, weak, muted trumpet, shallow breath. And again, at the very, very end, finally, at the very, very end, the fragile, frail, forlorn Celesta, and everything that was, civilization, creativity, courage, love, all has expired. <laughs>